As the Caribbean Court of Justice's 2021-2022 court term opened on Monday, 4th October 2021, the court president, the Honorable Mr. Justice Adrian Saunders, issued a message that highlighted the work of the court for the 2020-2021 year and how the work of the CCJ impacts citizens of the Caribbean community. President Saunders noted that the CCJ, like other institutions, has had to adapt due to the challenges created by the COVID-19 pandemic. However, the institution has continued to serve the people of the Caribbean, particularly on matters related to the Caribbean Single Market Economy, CSME, freedom of movement of labor, goods, services, capital and establishment. Over the last year, notwithstanding the severe effects of the COVID-19 pandemic on countries, institutions, and people in general, the court was nevertheless able to function effectively using our digital machinery to execute our mandate. In addition to managing and trying the cases brought before us, we also made solid progress on each of the six strategic areas we had identified in our 2019 to 2024 strategic plan. Over the last year, in spite of the pandemic, our virtual courtroom provided uninterrupted service to our customers. We held 55 virtual court sittings, and one of the cases coming before us in the original jurisdiction was initiated by a member state of CARICOM brought against another member state. This was the first time that such an action had been filed and it demonstrated a growing level of confidence in the court's role as an arbiter of disputes among CARICOM member states. Apart from his judicial work, the president shared some of the other deliverables completed by the court during the past court year. These include the finalization of judicial discipline regulations to accompany the revised Judicial Code of Conduct, which was adopted in 2020. We implemented a scheme for monitoring and evaluating our progress in accomplishing our strategic plan. And as the executing agency for the Canadian funded jurist project, we supported several justice delivery initiatives across the region. We engage in a wide range of training initiatives for judges and staff of the court. And through our partnership with bodies such as the Caribbean Association of Judicial Officers, popularly called CAJO, the CCG Academy for Law, and the Global Judicial Integrity Network, a UN agency of which I'm an advisory board member, we assisted in legal and judicial education programs, not just throughout the region, but also beyond. Of course, while we have made strides in these and other areas, we recognize that there is still more work to be done. And so, over the next judicial year, we will remain responsive and resilient. We shall continue to implement our strategic plan, paying particular regard to developing the mechanisms for more meaningful interaction with our stakeholders, whether through our website, or through social media, or by other means. The CCJ is your court, the people of the Caribbean. Justice Saunders urged citizens of the region to learn more about the court and how it serves the region.